I'm going to start off by talking about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. <laughs> I hadn't seen it. I was a little skeptical to watch it. There was so much hype surrounding it. But everyone's like, Doug, you gotta watch it. It's the best Spider-Man thing. You gotta watch the Spider-Man. This is the one. This is the best Spider-Man thing. A lot of people have been saying that to me. I don't think I agree, but I didn't mind it. Anyway, we'll get into it. Um, shout out my friends. Aaron Hacks. Check out Aaron Hacks. They stream as well. Thank you so much for being here. Aaron Hacks was my sugar daddy the other night and was just giving out them sweet, sweet subs. Uh, we love Aaron Hex, we love Scotty, we love anybody who's here. So thank you for taking time out of your Friday night to be here. Uh, and of course, Scotty, if you want to shout out you're here, you're a streamer, let me know. I will do it. I will not hesitate. Stevie, you're here, it looks like. Hello, hello. All right, all right. Shout out, Scandy. All right, let's get into it. So, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Like I said, I... This has been out for a while. I didn't realize quite how old it was. This is all the way from 2018. And I hadn't seen it, and it's on Netflix. So I had no excuse to not watch it now. Why are you all fuzzy? Do I need glasses? I mean... I'm looking at my monitor, and I think it looks normal, like usual. It could be a you thing. Is anybody else looking fuzzy for them? Let me let us know. But like, it is at 720p, so if it, that is a little bit fuzzy to begin with. Um, hopefully you're okay and you don't need glasses. But anyway, I'm gonna keep. Hopefully we figure that out. But yeah, it looks okay on my end. This movie, let's look it up. Um, we are going to look it up on Wikipedia. And yeah, this is an, if people don't know what this is, let's just get into that real quick. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. I believe it won Best Animated Picture in the Academy Awards 2018, I'm assuming, because that's the year it came out and that's how it works. But... Yeah, this it's an it's animated and let's talk about the animation real quick. It's probably my my biggest negative note towards the film and this is more just like a personal preference thing, but I didn't really like it. I have no problem with the art style. I think the art style is good. It's looks a lot like a lot of comic book art that I've seen in newer comic books. So it it makes enough sense. But the problem I have with the animation is the choppiness of the characters when they're like running or jumping. Talking isn't that distracting. But some of the action scenes or the, even just when the main character is like moving their arms a lot or something. Just looks a little weird. I feel like it could be smoother. But that's like just the way things are going now I think. Which I don't think I like. So that's just sort of a comment on that. Okay I made you look better. Oh so it must have been a setting on your end. Excellent. Okay, let's keep talking about Spider-Man. So, yeah, people have been telling me this is the best Spider-Man thing. And I'm a huge advocator and lover, let us say, of the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. And there's even like a little, there's a, definitely some nods to those movies in this. Because uh, if you don't know what, what this particular Spider-Man movie is, it's an animated Spider-Man movie, like I said. But what this goes into is the idea of all these other spider, let's just say people, because some of them are not Spider-Men. Um, all these different spider people from different comics, and these comics I guess are real. I didn't realize that they were all real. I figured they might have been, but I wasn't sure. But now I, I'm pretty sure they are, I've been told. All these comics are real. So these different spider people from different alternate universes, for instance, like there's one where Gwen Stacy becomes Spider, the Spider person, because Peter Parker dies, and then there's another parallel universe where um, Spider-Man is like not as heroic. There's this, uh, there's a Spider-Man universe where Spider-Man is a pig called Spider-Ham, and I feel like I've definitely seen that comic in stores before, so that one makes sense. The Pentagon is real. Hi, Stacy. 
Hi, Stacy. <laughs> okay, let's keep talking about this. I'm gonna, like I said, look it up on Wikipedia. I think this did quite well. It probably made, like, money. Because, well, one of the Academy Award. I guess winning the Academy Award doesn't guarantee you to make money, but I feel like every movie that has won an Academy Award has at least been somewhat profitable. Maybe I'm incorrect. There's probably, like, outstanding circumstances for a certain film or something, but, you know, we're not dwelling that deep. Let's go check it out. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It's quite a little bit wordy. I, I, I fit it in there all right, I think, though. Into the Spider-Verse. And this is on... We want to look at the Wikipedia. But no, I like this generally. Like, the story was good. Like, I get why people liked it. Uh, but yeah, my, like I said, my main beef was the animation choppiness at times. Um, but you know, the, again, that's just a personal preference. If you're into that sort of thing, that's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not a huge fan of it. I just, I know there's, the technology exists to make it smoother. So I just kind of wish it was smoother. Um, but anyway, yeah, here it is on Wikipedia. So let's just read a little bit of what it says here. It's an American computer animated superhero film featuring the Marvel Comics character, Miles Morales. So this is another, he's probably in another Spider-Man from one of the other comics. So th I think all these Spider comics are real. And there's a lot of um, big names in this, or at least somewhat big names. I, and I'm not, and I guess we could, we could find out their, their actual names here in the cast, hey? Because I was just going to say Nick from New Girl is in this. We got um, Nicolas Cage and John Mulaney uh, is the spider pig or spider ham, if you will. Um, Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. Yeah, Chris Pine is who plays Nick in New Girl. That's what I was looking for. Oh, no, sorry. I'm insane. Jake Johnson, Pader, Pader, and I knew that. Um, okay, Chris Pine is the other Peter Parker, because there's two different Peter Parkers. I mean, I guess there's a... Because, yeah, I'm trying to think about all the different characters in Spider-People, but I guess there is only just two Peter Parkers, and then there's Peter Parker, and then there's Gwen Stacy. Um... And yeah, I don't want to ruin too much about the plot, so I'm just not. But I'll talk about, like, the villains. So there's a representation of Doc Ock in this, which is kind of cool. Um, and there's also, as well as that, we got Kingpin, who is Wilson Fisk. If you know the Daredevil and Netflix show, he's the villain in that too, but... They don't ever, I don't think they say, they may say it like once at the end of that show, but they don't really say Kingpin in that show. But in this movie, they definitely do. Um, and yeah, Kingpin, I love the way he's animated and the way he looks, because it's so funny and unrealistic, but, you know, this is an animated movie, and that's how he's drawn in the comics, I believe, where it's just like a, basically a giant square. He's supposed to be like 800 pounds or something, and like seven feet tall, so... And just like this ridiculous big like square with a head, bald head in the middle. And he's like just this rich, power hungry man who runs everything and is evil. If people didn't know, Kingpin generally, special request song, sexual healing. Okay, we'll we'll table that. We're gonna we'll get to that later. We're not there yet. You know, once we get to we're doing movie reviews. Uh but you know. When we get there, Stevie, I'll look it up. I do, at least I know that song. I don't, the chords might be really hard. Uh, but anyway, let's keep it rolling with this movie. I enjoyed it, but it wasn't that good. I don't know. I feel maybe a little overhyped. Um, it wasn't really boring. It was well written for sure. I'll give it that. Um, and all the voice actors, like they hired good people. John Mulaney worked as the pig. Uh, all these, all the voices, like, sounded enough like their characters looked. It, 
wasn't jarring at all at any time, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, what else have we got here? Directed by Bob Perchetti, Peter Ramsey, and Rodney Rothman, so that's three different directors. Um, and when I first heard about this movie, I thought that it was going to be, like, in different styles of animation throughout. Like, I thought that they were going to travel into these different parallel universes, and the animation was going to change slightly. And I think I would have liked to see that. I think that would have been cooler, maybe, just a little bit at least. But instead, it's all these different characters coming into one parallel universe to try to stop this one evil, which is Wilson Fisk, and they create this big, they call it a collider. Wilson Fisk is trying to bring back his, uh, his wife. I think they, uh, I don't know, maybe remember this incorrectly, but this is how I remember. I think they get in a car crash, and he's trying to, like, bring, bring back a parallel universe version of his Vanessa, his wife or girlfriend, partner, let's just say, because uh, she, they show a scene of her running away from Wilson Fisk because he's like beating the shit out of Spider-Man, and they're like, why? Why are you doing that? I don't know, that was kind of, kind of a good scene, shows like the layers of emotion that can be in these, in these movies, I and mean, even an animated film can have these sort of dark moments and stuff, so that was, I kind of like that, but... Yeah, like I said, this movie's not perfect, but I did kind of like it. Um, I had to sort of watch it. People kept bugging me about this one. Um, yeah, the main character is Miles. It starts off... Let's talk about some of the other characters and, like, the setup. So Miles lives in Brooklyn, and he is going to a school. Oh, can talk, I could talk about something else that I didn't really like, but yeah, he's going to a school uh, that's sort of like a prep school or something. It's like they have to wear uniforms, I guess. And they show him before, and he's going through a neighborhood, and he like knows everyone really well, and he's like, yeah, we're cool. But then he goes to the prep school, he's not as cool, and they do explain it. But I guess my main issue... And they do address this still, but I didn't like... This isn't my main, main issue. I already explained my main issue was the animation, but... I had an issue with the dad, the way the dad sort of interacts with the, at the beginning. I get that he's supposed to, like, be an overbearing, caring, but overbearing uh, father. And so there's a scene where he's dropping him off at school, and his dad is a police officer, which is a noteworthy factor, because there's scenes where he's talking about how he doesn't like Spider-Man, and he's a vigil anti and all that, and obviously later on, Miles becomes Spider-Man, so there's that conflict. But before all that, when his dad's dropping him off at school in a cop car, he's, you know, he's doing the classic thing that kids do, he's grumpy, he's like, bye dad, and he's like, I love you, Miles, and he's like, I know dad, bye, and he's like, his dad wants him to say I love you back, so he uses the police speaker. Is like, say I love you back, boy. And embarrasses him in front of everybody. And, like, I just think that even a dick dad cop might be like, you know, maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't know. I, didn't, I guess I just didn't like it. But you're not supposed to like that. It made me feel it just a little bit cringy, you know? But... I guess that's sort of the point, but I guess that's sort of a minor note, but I didn't really like it, so I, I'm still mentioning it. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, folks. I'm having a blast already. Just talking about Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Um, and let's go back into the cast here. Because it said, like we said, we talked about Jake Johnson as one of the Peter Parkers, and he's like the main one, sort of, that they talk to. There's the one at the beginning, so I should explain this, sort of, this sort of the setup. We got the, we say, and they do all these little vignettes of, it starts off with, uh, Spider-Man showing the cover of his comic book, and him being like, okay, we're gonna do this one time, and that's sort of a running gang of the, of the movie, because all the different Spider-People do this, where they have a, a comic and like, hey, one more time, I'm Spider-Man, 
and this is my comic, and this is what how I got my origin story real quick kind of thing. Uh, and yeah, like I said, they have a little nod in the first one, first one of these vignettes where they have the main Spider-Man that, spoiler alert, but it's not really just the thing in the beginning, this Spider-Man dies, and so they have to get other Spider-People from the, the Spider-Verse. Uh, but yeah, the Spider-Man man dies, uh, so they move on, and that, yeah, that sort of launches the whole thing. Um, the whole movie, but what was I gonna say? Just a sec. I'll think of it in a sec. Oh yeah, we're trying to find other. Oh yeah, Nicholas Cage talked about that real quick. Uh, he, I was surprised. I didn't even realize, but you, you know his voice. Like as soon as you hear him, he plays Spider-Man Noir, and that's another one of these comics. Um, which is interesting, cause yeah, they're all different. But yeah, again, another note. I already said this, but I'm going to say it yeah. I would have liked to have seen the different styles of comics and them going into each universe. That would have been more interesting to me. I think they could have wrote it so that they could have had to do that. But instead, they all come into this one universe. Makes it a little more boring, in my opinion. I guess they were trying to make it less complicated, maybe. But I digress. Like I said, the main thing I have a problem with is the animation. But yeah, these vignettes at the beginning with, with Spider-Man, like I'm the only Spider-Man. Those are that's kind of funny. Like it's a reoccurring gag, and then finally at the end, like, hey, last time for fucking real, I'm Spider-Man, and you know they mention about how, all the, they he recognizes that there's all the other Spider people. But at the beginning, it's like I don't, I'm the only Spider-Man. Everybody thinks that they're the only Spider person. But, they're not, and that's sort of the point of the film. Uh, and yeah, it's, I gotta admit, it's a cool idea. And it's something a little bit different in the now so overbloated superhero movie market, in my opinion. There's just so much of this now. Um, but this is a little bit different. It's animated. Um, it's a little bit different story. It's more standalone than a lot of these fucking movies. Um... And that's a big problem with I have a lot of the, the newer Marvel and what have you movies. You gotta watch all of them to fucking get the one you're watching, pretty much. Um, you know, some exceptions. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of the Spider-Man Tobey Maguire movies. And yeah, that's, I remember, I trailed off and I, I said I was gonna remember what I was talking about earlier. I forgot, but here we go again. It's, it's uh, Peter Parker, when he's doing these vignettes and he's talking about I'm the only Spider-Man, and it's like, I do all this stuff, I save the city, I'm the best, or whatever, and then he talks about, it's like, and then I have my most embarrassing moment, and they show him in the Spider-Man suit doing the embarrassing dance, the infamous dance scene in Spider-Man 3, so that's a nod to that, even though he's wearing the Spider-Man suit, and in the, the movie, he's just in what regular people clothes, or whatever, but it's still close enough, and you're like, okay, it's not the same universe, but it's a nod that he did a lot of the same similar shit because they even have like the the scene they show him stopping the train in Spider-Man 2 anyway yeah those are my favorite Spider-Man movies I think for sure even 3 I even like 3 it's over bloated there's too many villains it's uh super silly the the dance part's fun I don't know I really like that movie I mean obviously the first two are better but the uh 3 is still fun and it's a fun trilogy, and I think they should have given him a fourth one. I think that would have been at least interesting to see. What's going on, folks? Hello, hello. Oh, yes, thank you for contributing to that, because, and I should talk about this real quick. Everybody, please, this is the last chance to do this, so if we don't make it today, we're not going to make it. 70% um, raised, so yeah, we could maybe do it, but... We're, 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 we're cutting it real close. Uh, I appreciate it, Huey. Using your booty bucks for the greater good. Um, you got us a lot closer, that's for sure. Uh, that's coercion. Sets kids up for abusive relationships in the future. Um, are we, were you talking about the police thing I was talking about? With the, his cop dad being a dick? Um, I think that's what you're talking about. And yeah, I agree. Uh, it's realistic, but I didn't like it. And 
Well, maybe, I don't know. It's realistic enough for some uh, cop to be that big of a dickhead and be like, you have to say I love you back to his son in front of all these kids. It's believable enough. Though, yeah, the pressure to say I love you back. Yeah, I agree. Um, I agree with you, Stevie. Colin Shekels. Okay, thanks, Dad. Thanks for being here, everybody, by the way. Um, and yeah, I've got to keep talking. And I, I will wanted to mention this because this is sort of the premise and I just wanted to mention the fact that it's sort of funny that all of these different Spider-Man productions, let's just say, because there's this one, a whole bunch of Spider-People, too many Spider-Men, debatably, you could say. Uh, and then there was the Spider-Man musical and if people don't remember that, let me refresh your memory. I don't remember exactly when this was, but I want to say like 2014, 15, something like that. There was a Spider-Man musical and it was disastrous because there was so many spider people and I don't even know if it like how long it ran if it even got into production into showings but there's too many spider-man and a lot of people got injured like just trying to be on these wires and stuff so that's another too many spider-man production and then there's this new movie coming out spider-man no way home that's supposed to have a whole bunch of spider-man uh, so I just think it's funny because there's no other superhero I can think of where like that's a reoccurring theme where it's like let's just give a whole bunch of them like there's not a too many superman movie there's not a too many batman movie those might be good too um uh, anyway that's just something i wanted to comment on because i thought it was kind of funny i love you son now say you love me too i love doug too you know how i like comic books as comic books yeah this movie it, and but this movie is really trying to f make you feel like a comic book, sort of. Which might be partially why there's the choppy feel. Um, and there's definitely a lot of, like, showing comic panels. And, like, the main character, Miles, he is an artist. He's a uh, graffiti artist. And they show that. And that's another conflict with his dad being a cop and being like, Oh, he's doing graffiti. I don't like that. I'm a cop, oh boy, kind of thing. Uh, I like the drawing, so comic book movies are great. Generally do nothing for me. Well, this is animated, but it is CGI animated, So, but there's still art to that, so maybe you would enjoy this more, because it's art. Do you like animated films for that? Like, that's the thing. I, You like art, obviously, because you're an artist, but you, you don't really watch that many animated films. You would... Well, I guess it's easier to like look at the because you get to look at the art longer with animation and it goes on faster and it's harder to keep focus maybe that's why anyway yeah what do you think Huey a few but I like drawings on the page mostly fair enough this is an animated film um but yeah there's too many Spider-Man things in general but this wasn't bad and I get why people really liked it but I just thought it was okay. <laughs> uh, I hate art. He can Garfunkel himself. Good one, Stevie. Uh, there's, there's the one I was looking for. Um, but yeah, I am running out of stuff to say, I think, about this. So let's look at the Wikipedia. Because I bet there's some box office information. We like to do that if we can. Budget, 90 million, makes sense, lots of big names, you know, animation takes a lot of different people to create. Um, obviously you can do animation just like with one person, but it would take way longer. This is obviously a multi-team production, multi-person production. Uh, 90 million dollar budget, and yeah, like I said, I knew this made a bunch of money. Because it's so popular, it won an Academy Award for Best Animated Feature. 375.5 million in the box office, which are not with a 90 million budget, so it's excellent. That's an excellent return on their on the film. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I just thought it was okay. But you know, definitely well written for this kind of thing. Um, and like I said, I didn't like the choppiness of the animation, but I didn't have any problem with the the art style itself. Okay, Daddy. You still didn't fucking say I love you, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Love you, Daddy. <laughs> okay, Daddy. Uh, 
Corn Dog Man is what I'm referencing, and people don't know. Watch that movie. It was good. Corn Dog Man. Um, anyway, I love Doug. I love anybody who's tuning in right now. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, no wire hangers ever. Um, okay, I am running out of shit to say about this movie, though. So I think I'm going to wrap it up. If anybody else has seen this and has anything to say, go ahead and type it into the chat. Or if you want to, join me on Discord right now. I'll put that in there. And we can talk about it some more, but I think we'll probably move on. Christina, get the axe. Um, but yeah, if anyone's seen this, let me know. What did you think of it? I'm going to rate it right now, I think. Um, here we go. And I'll put on a little beat while we do this, while we rate this. Here we go. This is a beat from Turn Up Music SK. <laughs> Seven point two. What you gonna do? Call up your crew. I didn't think it was that good. I thought it was okay. Seven point two. Yay yay. All right. That's what it was. Seven point two out of ten dogs. It was okay. I think it was a little overrated, but not bad. For sure. Okay. That's that. Seven point two out of ten dogs.